more craftsman of distinction, the expert in cutting rubber molds. Today we're going to learn how to make the rubber molds. Before we're going to start, let's start learning how to make a rubber mold, we have to get familiar with the different frame, the most popular frame that we have. We have a double frame number two, we have a four size number two frame, and we have number three frame, double frame, and we have number four frame. Number two frame, it takes six pieces of rubber cast out already cut. Number three frame takes eight pieces of ready cut cast out rubber molds. And number four frame takes ten pieces ready cut cast out rubber molds. And this is a, a number uh, four frame. This is number two as the same as number double two single frame. The difference is you takes you could put four molds on one shot, and this one you only put two molds on one shot. If your machine is a uh, is one of the the looks uh, new machines that we have on the market, you could put four molds on one shot. It means that every time you open your Volcanage, you will have four molds ready. Before you start making a rubber mold, the whole process, the most important thing to making a rubber mold is to make sure the vulcanizer machine are in the right temperature. If the vulcanizer machine is not in the right temperature, the rubber mold will experiment a softness or hardness or a shrinking because of that problem of the uh, uh, temperature is not correct. In order to correct the temperature, you should have uh, what I have in my hand here is a digital thermometer. With this digital thermometer, you will check the temperature in, in your vulcanizer that makes it to 310 degrees to 325 Fahrenheit. In order to check the temperature in your vulcanizer, you have to have an accurate uh, thermometer like this. And the plate, metal plate, could be a, a aluminum plate or iron plate. They introduce your thermometer inside the metal plate, okay? And then when you introduce your the thermometer inside the metal plate, this metal plate goes to a new vulcanizer. So now, now we want to check the temperature on you. Vulcanizer. In order to do so, like we see before, we introduce the thermometer and into the metal plate, and then the metal plate you put in between the plates and the vulcanizer. And then press the vulcanizer like you are pressing a rubber mold. Okay. When you see it go more, you just leave it over there until you read, you read and use the thermometer screen. Uh, 10, 110 to 325 Fahrenheit, and between those range 110 to 125, that's what you should leave your vulcanizer to working for an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. So now after we check the temperature on our vulcanizer, and we make sure the vulcanizer are working properly, then the next step is how to pack a mold. And how do we know where's the right frame for the right model? So here we can see we measure a, a quarter inch from the top of the model to the top of the frame. We have that space over there from the model to the to the frame to the top of the frame. That means that we could pack this in the frame number two with gold with six slices on the bottom and six slices on the top. Ready cut Castaldo. So the next step 
when we start making a rubber mold number two, six slice, three on top and three on the bottom, we're gonna cut over here the place, we make a triangle, that's where the bottom is gonna be placed. So this bottom go here is on the sprue and goes like you that, so that way we make a space on the first rubber that we cut. And then we proceed to take the white paper and we also cut the second one on the top. We make it cut so when we place our mold in the center, the mold it all the way has to be in the center. And we make sure the blue paper is out. You never leave the blue paper because if you leave a blue paper, you, blue paper you're gonna ruin the molds. So we proceed to pack the center of the molds, making sure that with the tweezers, you're not touching your model. If you scratch your model, then you're gonna damage your model and it will be no good. So we take some pieces of rubber, cut pieces by piece, and making sure again that you're not touching the model with a, a twisted pointer. It's very important. They fill all your cavities and your models. It's easy to fill the cavities, that way you're not forcing your rubber to go through your holes. That's why sometimes the holes don't fill because you are not filling, okay? You're not filling your holes. Sometimes you have to do tiny little pieces for this hole here. As you can see, finding holes, we're going to proceed to block that hole because sometimes it didn't feel, I don't like to force the rubber in. I don't like to leave it like that because what you're doing, you leave it without a rubber, is just to force in your rubber to get in. So you have to tie it up. Tie your rubber, uh, your vulcanizer more. Again, we take the blue paper, that we see here, the blue paper is plastic and will melt if we leave it. It will melt when we put it in the vulcanizer again. With your tweezers, you just go around, okay? Uh, making sure that you're not touching your models. Then you take Process to take the blue paper, taking blue paper out, you see here we have one and two, one and two, top and the bottom, the center is the model, so we have to take the, the white paper out. Then take the blue paper, we have one, two, three in the bottom, we have two on top. This frame number two goes with six pieces and three in the bottom and three in the top, then six pieces plus the rubber that you're feeling when you're feeling that you put it in, in, in the middle um, in the center model. And then we go through uh, mark our mold G, D, M, E, 0, 
WS wax setting 1 17 2001 This is another simple piece it's a setting of the first step we're going to take the white paper out then we take the blue we make the cutting for the button to be placed and then even if the, this is a simple piece but with a simple piece we need to make sure the piece is stayed in the center level in the center it doesn't go anywhere doesn't go one side more than the other side and then we proceed again cutting the center bottom cavity and then we make sure not to touch in the models this is again three and three number six for the frame number two frame number two use six slides a ready cut castaldo this rover is already prepared, you don't need to be cut it, it's already pre-cut. You don't need to waste your time in cutting your rubber. You can see here it is one, two, three on the bottom, one, two, three on the top. The model is placed in the center, then we will begin to mark our mold with a margin market laundry pen X0024 1-17-2001 This is another piece uh, again we place our pieces as you can see the piece is not balanced we cannot put mold like this even if we start putting rubber in the center, this is the wrong way to do it. What we have to do, we have to place our model in the center and make sure it's a level, just mark it all around. Mark it all around. See? If this model we pack it like that, we just feel the center cavity is going to be bent when we put it in the vulcanizer. What we have to do is just cut the center, okay? We're going to cut the center here. When we cut the center, now our piece is place right in the center and you can see it's not moving okay no matter how big pressure you do on the vulcanizer the model it won't be bent so while we proceed now to fill the cavities all the cavities and your model important because if you don't fill your cavity the cavities you again gonna force your rover to get go through all those holes and it's not good you cannot force your model okay now we 
center, a piece of rubber in the center. Place it. So the model no not move. You take the white paper out and the blue paper also. That's the first two rubber pre-cut cast out though. And then we are placing on top of the model. Again, not touching, be very careful not to touch and scratch your model. You can see here, you have cavities over here, right around the models. All those cavities should be filled with pieces of rubber. Take the blue paper, place it on top, take the white, place it on top, then we have one, two, three, one, two. I mean we need another slice of so ready cut castaldo. Take the white paper halfway. Then we proceed to market the name of the company. The number, the model number, month, day, and year 2000. This is a different models. Every model has different way of packing and cutting. What we have to do here, we have to place the rubber between See, this model is not balanced, so we, in order to make balance, we had to place a piece of rubber right underneath, on the sprue, under the sprue, and then we proceed to fill it up the cavities. And I insist not to touch in your model, because if you crash your model, then you have to give it to the model maker to be fixed. Taking your blue plastic paper again, take it out, and then place it straight, make sure they are aligned together, the bottom rubber to the top rubber. Blue paper.
bench where you pack in your molds, the bench has to be very clean. Your hand should be clean also. Even if you have your hand, dirty hands, you will ruin the process of making your rubber, the uh, making your rubber molds neat, properly done. If the bench is dirty, all the dirt, all the sweating in your hands, it will stick on your rubber and the rubber won't will vulcanize it. It won't stick together. If the rubber has oil or water, the, 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 the sweating is on your hands, the oil that you, uh, um, from your hands, from your body, also makes the rubber the thing work. Thank you. 